Alright, here we go. We are just starting off with some really nice, big, deep, open uh, shoulder circles. So you're just going from the forward position to the back position. Rolling forward and back, forward and back. And then we're gonna reverse that. We're gonna go back and front, back and front, back, forward, back, forward. Nice, keep going. Try to make these really, really juicy. Really get inside those joints. And now we're gonna do some shoulder circles, keeping the fingertips on the shoulders, getting a slightly different position of openness for our shoulder sockets. Again, we're going forward and back, and we'll reverse that too, going back and forward. Feel free to look around, shake your neck out a little bit gently as you're doing this. Sometimes I like to just look around me and keep my, keep my neck loose by moving it gently. Okay, now we're gonna warm up our hands and fingers just a little bit, wiggling our hands and wrists back and forth. Just wiggling. Feels kind of funny. <laughs> I like to make faces when I work out sometimes. <laughs> so if I do, don't be surprised. Move your hands around, wrists around, just rotating back and forth with each other. And reverse it. I'm gonna slide back a tiny bit here so you can see me better, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna slide back a little bit. Perfect, okay, so you're gonna keep your knuckles on the ground and then press the backs of your hands to the ground and bring it back into a fist. Now we're going to put our hands flat, palms on the ground, fingers facing toward the camera, flash towards your video, really thinking of lifting in your tummy, and you're just lifting the palms off the ground, keeping the fingers on the ground, you'll be getting a nice stretch through the front of your arms. Now I'm going to turn to the side so that you can see what I'm doing here from a different angle. Lifting up, it's kind of like a dog's paw up to the position the way the dogs stand on their paws. Just lifting up, this really starts to fire our arm muscles, which is important since we're warming up for an arm workout. Now I'm going to face you again so that you can see a little better from this angle what I'm doing. We're turning our palms, we're still flat, turning our fingers towards the opposite wall. Lifting up, fingers stay on the ground, so you lift all the way up, up, right over the top of those fingers. Now we're going to turn the palms, so that the palms and the backs of the arms are facing the video, and your fingers are back and staying flat. What we're doing here is just warming up all the different angles, all the different muscles in our arms, and really getting them ready to work. This is important. We're going to turn our fingers in towards each other now, and the palms and the wrists are facing out towards the opposite wall. Up, down, up. Keep it going. Really thinking of lifting your stomach here with all of these. We're keeping our stomach lifted and pressed in towards our spine. Shake it out. Shake it, shake it out. Great. Okay, we're thinking of closing our ribcage. Wrapping everything around, closing our stomach, closing our abs. You're going to go in, out, in, out. You can bring the ribcage in and then opening the ribcage out. Open the ribcage out, bring it closed, open it out and close it. 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 Really thinking of separating in that ribcage and then knitting the ribcage together. 
separate and knit it together. There we go. Solid. This is really going to get every part of our body warm. Now we're lifting from side to side, trying to isolate only the rib cage. So you're really just lifting the rib cage from one corner to the other corner. So think of lifting towards your left shoulder. Now we're going front and back. Back, front, back. Now we're going to go side to side again. and we're gonna blend them all together like this. Make one full circle. Just really trying to isolate the rib cage here. It's gonna look like your shoulders are moving a little bit too, but you want your shoulders to not be leading the movement. Your shoulders are just moving as a result of your rib cage moving. This is all about the rib cage. Here we go. Start to feel like a dance a little bit sometimes. It feels really good though. It always makes me happy because it feels so good. Makes my body feel nice and loose and free. Okay, shake that out. Shake the shoulders. Now you're going to lift your arms and hands to shoulder height. Just like this. You're flexing the palms so that they're kind of almost flat. And you're lifting, your stomach is flat here too, and you're pressing the palms out. You're pulling your shoulders back and then extending them out, back, out, back, out, back, out, back, out, back, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now you're just lifting towards the ears and then dropping away. And out, and out, going front and back again. We're really warming up inside our shoulder socket. Back to the ears and down. Wiggle those fingers. That'll give you a nice stretch through the forearm. You're probably feeling it. Sometimes it feels a little weird. Woo! I can feel it. <laughs> awesome. Shake that out. Great job. Okay. Reaching your arms away from you. We're officially starting the workout now. We're gonna do some shoulder circles, arm circles. So you're using the whole, all the muscles in your shoulders and your arms. Really extend those arms away as far as you can. And these are just medium-sized circles. Now we're gonna switch directions. There you go, you got this. Circling. Awesome, wiggle those fingers. We're gonna wiggle and move your fingers forward. And then as far back as you Forward and back and forward. Now, of course, we could do any of these things standing. You can try bending your fingers if you like. We could do any of these things standing, but because this video is targeted for anybody who's suffering from an injury um, or for some reason or other can't use their legs right now, this is a workout intended to be useful for you. you'll see that you're turning your palms up and back and then forward as far as they can go. So you're really just trying to get inside that shoulder socket and get the maximum range of your mobility. That just means you're trying to move in as wide of a range as you can. This is really, really going to help strengthen, but not only strengthen, it's going to improve your flexibility. You're going to pull down and then press down. Hold tight and bend your arms, and then press your arms straight. Bend and straight. Now you want to really make this hard. Imagine you're pulling a tight, tight rope from the ceiling, and it's heavy. Pull it, pull it. You can even imagine you're pulling a resistance band or a rubber band down from the ceiling. Imagine that it's tight and heavy, and press down. Pull it tight, and pull. Now you're just going to do a few of these here. Pull. Pull. There you go. Do not let it be easy. Make it difficult for yourself. You want to pull as hard as you can. In these types of workouts, it is your responsibility to push yourself. Don't go easy on yourself. There you go. Press down. 
down, down. Our arms are straight here now, as you will see. Our palms are flexed, so it's like they're pressing towards the wall. And we're pressing back now. Two, three, four, five. I can feel it. <laughs> I'm sure you can too. Ooh. You really start to feel this in the backs of your spine and your shoulder blades. Now we're going to slightly shift our shoulders forward. Our head can tuck, our chin can just drop to our chest, and we're lifting straight up. Now you'll see that the fingers are now pointing toward the video. Slightly different position than before. Woo! Shake that out. Great job. Do a little karate chop. I guess, yeah, it's more like a, more like a, a chef chopping some really cool vegetables or something. Maybe. Probably a true chef would watch this. I would not chop vegetables that way. <laughs> but hey. Alright, warm up those wrists. Do some wrist circles. Here we go. We're going to throw a bouncy ball down towards the ground and catch it. There you go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep going. Now you're going to throw up. Here we go. Like you're throwing the bouncy ball up to the ceiling and then catching it again. I'm totally feeling this. So you really want to be stretching your arms as far out as you can. That's what's really going to help you feel this exercise. And also catch as tight of a fist as you can and throw as wide as you can. And now you're going to throw behind you. This is kind of an interesting one. <laughs> it's kind of different. <laughs> really get some different muscles. Woo! Shake that baby out. Okay. My hair might be going crazy during this video. I just cut it, so all the pieces want to come out of the braid. It'll probably be exploded by the end of it. Okay. So we've got our weights here. We're going to start really jumping into the more heavy duty part of our workout using our actual weights. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm using adjustable weights, so I'm just spinning my weights so that they stay tight. Just spinning them in as far as they'll screw. Awesome. And you can use whatever weights you are able to use for this exercise. So try out what you have and see if it works for you. I would recommend for this, uh, if you're new to working out or you haven't been doing it for super long, Probably starting with three to five pounds. And like I just kind of showed, we are thinking a lot of our stomachs, really lifting, drawing in, bringing everything into your center, really bringing your stomach towards your spine and keeping your shoulders down. Lifting up in your ribcage and your abs and your side. Everything's lifting, lifting nice and strong. Circle those shoulders back. Out. Out. So we're basically just returning to that position we were in earlier, and we're lifting our arms directly side, up to shoulder height, and then back down. These can get tiring quickly, so out of all the exercises, I would actually use the lightest weight for this exercise, if it's, if it's necessary for you. Um, three pounds is usually good for this one, especially if you haven't really done a lot of this exercise before. Keep going with me. Don't worry, it won't last forever. <laughs> you got this. Awesome. We're switching to the next exercise now. This one's for your biceps, which is that muscle. Okay, so here we really still want to be thinking of the abs. Still want to be thinking of lifting in those abs. Now we're using those arm muscles on the front of the top of our arm. Really lifting and doing one arm at a time. We're not doing both arms here. You will probably be able to see that I'm only doing the arm that's closest to you, the camera. Okay, you'll probably start to feel this. It can be a tough one, but it's a fun one because your muscles really get to work in this one. If you're watching, you might even be able to see, you can actually see. If you're watching yourself in the mirror, you'll see your own muscles moving, which is always kind of fun to see what's happening underneath the surface. Okay, changing to the other side. Here we go. Keep lifting. And lift. 
Now we're really lifting in our abs still, remember, leaning a little bit up and over. Keep it going. Keep that going. You got this. You've got this. Lengthen in those abs. Close the rib cage. Awesome. Okay. Switching to the other side again. We're going to use both arms this time for our triceps, which is the muscle on the back of the top of your arm. We're going to reach back. And two, you're pulling your elbows as far back as they can go, as high as they can go, and then you're just extending your arms. This is really going to get the muscles on the backs of your arms. Oh my goodness. You'll be feeling this for sure. Now this is a beginner intermediate level um, because it's only done, we're only going to go through this series twice in this video. If you get done with it and you can go more, go more. If you can do it three times, four times, that is awesome. You'll really, really start to see a huge difference. Awesome. Great job. Okay. We're setting those aside for a second. We're still going to use them. I'm just moving them out of the way because we're going to shift positions here. I'm going to fix my clothes. Okay. Now we're leaning down, laying on our backs. Now I'm reaching for the weights again. So we're going to bring the weights with us here. We're lying on our backs. Go ahead and get yourself situated. And you're going to have your knees pointing to the ceiling and feet flat on the ground just like I'm doing here. Now, you're going to have your arms flat on the ground and then you're going to press your arms straight above your chest. Straight above your chest, just like this. Hands pointing toward the air. And you're really using your chest muscles here. They're called your pectoral muscles. You're also using the rotators inside the rotator cuff. Really think of widening your back onto the floor here. Widen that back onto the floor. Let that tummy melt into the ground. The back melts into the ground. You want to try to have your whole back on the ground. No speed. Okay, now you're going to turn your arms so they're facing each other. And you're going to bring your hands together above your head and then reach down. Pull down, pull down. This is great for your rib cage and again your tricep muscles. The back of your arms. Pull it down. Pull it down. Good job. Keep it going here. Keep it going. Doing great. Really try to get through all of this at the same pace that I'm going. This isn't a super, super grueling pace. It's not crazy intense. Um, so we really want to try to keep a decent pace because if we take too much time between reps, we don't get the same cardio benefit. The quicker you can um, transition from one exercise to another, the more cardio benefit you're also going to reap from your workout. Okay, here we go. I'm sure you're feeling this. Remember, we're thinking of our core here. Really thinking of lifting in our core, bringing our core down towards the floor and towards our spine. Bringing everything together. We're just going to do some sit-ups here. So you're going to bring the chin. Now here, it's easy to get stuck. So what you want to do to get past that, if you have a hard time getting up, you can grab your knees to sit up just like this. Now really, really let that tummy be the first thing to release to the ground. The tummy pulls back. Head is the last thing to go. Get up. And release it. You really want to keep your feet on the ground. Try not to let your feet lift. They will have a tendency to try. So you really have to focus on not letting them lift. So here you'll see I'm showing you sometimes your feet want to come off. You have to keep them down. Keep them down. And lift. Lengthen that tummy down to the ground. Use the stomach. Pull, pull, pull. And if it gets hard, use your legs. Yep. It's okay to use your legs while you're still developing the muscles to get up. But you really want to use your legs in a way that you're not relying on them. You only pull just enough to get yourself back up and back down. Just enough. You don't have to. You don't do it. Keep 
those feet on the ground, keep the knees bent. Again, remember you can use your knees if you need to, but really try not to. And only use them the tiniest bit if you have to. Here's another version. You can try extending your legs to do it. You really need to sink through those abs to work on that release if you're going to do that. <laughs> like I said earlier, my hair is obviously going to get crazy. All the pieces are coming out. I'm just going to take off like that. <laughs> Here we go. Lifting up, lifting, lifting up, and release back down. You really want to control, control, control. Really control on the way down. On the way down is where it gets difficult. You really want to control. Lift it up. <laughs> it's tough. Again, if you need to go back to the bent knees, you can do all of these with bent knees. I'm just showing you some different variations. So as you get more advanced, really try to keep those shoulders down away from you. Up, got this. Lower it down. You got this. Bring it all the way up. I'm sure you're going to start feeling it soon. Alright, awesome. Nice job with the sit up. Okay, look at this. <laughs> all my little pieces everywhere. I'm going to try this again. We're going to see. Maybe I can keep it back this time. And this also gives you a chance to breathe. You're welcome. Take some deep breaths here. Stretch out your muscles a little bit if you need a break for a quick second. Okay. You ready? We're jumping back in. Bringing our weights back with us. And we're going to do this whole circuit one more time. So remember, we're lifting in our core, everything's drawing in, wrapping around us, doing our open arms. I think a lot of people call these shoulder flies. Honestly, you can call them whatever you need to, to remember what they are and how to do them correctly. You really want to keep your ribs closed. Rib cage is closed. Think of that little spot in the center of your ribs. The ribs are knitting together in this. You want to be working your shoulders, your shoulder blades. You want to be really, really closing the ribs. Okay, even here, we're still closing the ribs, lifting in the abs. Okay, ready? And one. <laughs> I'm sure you're feeling this. Second time around is always tougher. Job. Now, we're going to do a couple extra reps on each of these. I'm going to increase the reps because we're only doing this twice. So I'm going to have you do a few extra reps more than we did with the last round. Because why not? Give yourself a little extra benefit. And again, if you can watch this video and do it a second time, do it a second time. Do the few extra sets. Especially if you've done this already for a little while. Going through it a couple more times is really going to increase your strength. Okay, remember we're lengthening through our abs, closing our ribs. Only working the arm. You're isolating the arm. You don't want to be using your upper body to make this happen. The upper body is nice and long and relaxed. And so, well, Got this. I'm sure you feel it. <laughs> nice. Good job. Okay, okay. Ready? I'm back. 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 Here we go. You got it. So you have this one in both arms. I'm sure you can see. Remember to breathe. Oh. I'm sure you guys are feeling it. good. It's so good for you. I know that it hurts. But think about how many good things you're doing for your body right now. Your muscles are going to thank you so, so much later on.
All right, shake that out. <laughs> Cause I'm sure you're feeling it in your arms. Awesome. Good job. Press those fingers against your palms if you'd like to give your forearms a little break. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna adjust my position. We are moving to our other position again now. And we're gonna weigh on our backs, just like we did earlier. And we're gonna take our weight. So let me adjust a little bit more one second. I'm actually gonna tuck my shirt into my leggings so that it stays a little bit better. All right, here we go. Ready? Okay. Arms are out wide, shoulder height, and you're gonna press. Two, three, again, we're using, really, really using inside of our shoulder rotator cuff. And we're really keeping our ribs closed here, ribs closed. We're using our chest muscles, our pectoral muscles a lot here. <laughs> and you can smile. Body right now. Keep it going. Uh huh, we're almost there. <laughs> nice. You're doing great. Okay, now you turn your palms toward each other, still holding the weight. And you're going to bring the weights behind you, touch the floor, over your head, and you're pulling down. And down. Keeping that rib cage closed, especially when you pull down, really, really close that rib cage. Knit the ribs together. Knit them together. I'm sure you're feeling it. Keep breathing, though. Breathing, breathing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Breathe it out and breathe it in. Trust me, I feel it too. We can totally do this though. We have to make each other do it. We cannot quit early. We have to do it. We can do it. Good. Awesome. You did it. You're done with that one. Okay. Now we just have our abs. You ready for this? All right. Remember, you can extend your legs if you want to, or you can keep them folded, whatever you decide to do. <laughs> I'm just gonna move that out of the way. Okay, stomach is really long, really strong, and it's pulling toward the spine and melting into the ground. Up, keep those feet down, shoulders down, shoulders down away from the ground. Use your stomach to lift you up, and now release the stomach. Stomach and back go first, then the rest of your spine. Great job. I'm adjusting. <laughs> okay, shift. Shift your legs however they need to be, whether they're straight or up. Lift up. And lower down. Lift it up. And lower it down. Really try to control it here in this lowering down. Lift it up, use the abs, use, use the abs. Lift it up, 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 up. This last one gets difficult because it's your last exercise and you've already worked so hard. So give it that much more energy. Give it the very best that you have. Lift, 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 lift up. Don't cheat yourself. Lower, 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 release. Lift, lift, lift up. Lower, 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 release. Awesome. Now you really want to try to control, control, control down. Lift, 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 And lower, 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 lower. With your abs, lower it as well. Good. Lift it up. Keep those feet down. Awesome. Keep going. Got it. You're a champ. Good. Well, hey, you finished. 
you finish the workout. Good job. We're just going to do some stretches. I'm going to tuck my hair in. And take some deep breaths here. You're done. We're going to go cross off my mat. Okay. This last little thing is both the strength and also you're using the full mobility of your body. So it's also going to stretch you just a little bit. But after this, we're going to do some really nice stretches. Okay. Just so throw it back. And have you lift off and bring the arms overhead and then down. Overhead and down. Take a nice deep breath. Imagine you're swimming in the water. Kind of. <laughs> like swimming sideways. Or flying, just flying like a bird. There you go. <laughs> it's fun. It can be fun. Keep that chest lifted. You're definitely gonna feel it in your back. Mm. Oh, but it feels so good. It's one of those things that like hurts so good, you know? Oh. <laughs> you got this. Couple more. Couple more. Couple more. There you go. Lift it up. There you go. Awesome. Try another lift. This is going to strengthen your back in a very flexible position. It's also going to stretch our abs. Press through the arms. Press, press, press. Lift it off. Press forward, press through the arms, lift it off, stretch through our abs, lift through our arms, and down. It's also strengthening our back. Straight up in front of you, press it up, reach up. Let it down. Beautiful. You're doing great. Okay, come on up. Get those deeper stretches. Oh, okay. Grab your hands behind you. Hold down. Let your head go back with you. Let your ribcage go back. Really release through the front of your body, lifting your abs. You just find release. Bend one arm and bring it over the top of the other. Turn towards you so you can see the other angle again. Nice. You did great today. Give yourself a pat on the back for all your hard work. And grab the back of your arm and curve it around. And then pull on your wrist and stretch it out a little bit. Just stretch it out of that socket. Try right, the other side. Bend the arm and bring it across. Take some deep breaths while you do this. Extend the arm. Wiggle those fingers and pull it just gently, gently, gently. Curving the spine around a little bit and then gently pull just the tiniest bit out of your socket. Reaching out of your socket. You don't want to actually pull your arm out of your socket. <laughs> awesome. Okay. I'm going to slide back just a tiny bit so you can actually see my arms here. You're reaching one arm straight up to the ceiling and then pulling it back. Reaching the other arm up and pulling it back. Awesome. Open big. And then press it behind you. Beautiful. A couple more times. Press it behind you. Take one arm, lifting those abs, lifting up and over. Don't lean too far forward or too far back with this. You're straight to the side. And you're just going to do arm down and then bring your arm up overhead. And reach it down to your side and then up overhead. This is really going to stretch all through the sides of your abs, the front of your abs, and also even underneath your arms a little bit. Open out and curve it all the way around. Circle. Bend the other arm, 
really stretch over in those abs in the side of your body. Reach it up and over. And back. Up and over. And back. Up and over. And back. To the side. Up and over. All the way down. that breath going. Reach it out to the back. Out, out. And up and over. Circle it around. Back up to center. Shake that out a little bit. Okay. Flip the palms around so that your wrists are facing the camera slash video. My hair is going crazy again. <laughs> Can't shake it. All right. Okay. Here we go again. With the wrists palms directed towards the video. You're just going to sit here for a little bit to release through the backs of the arms. Now you're going to flip with the front of your arm down now. I'm sorry, the front of the back of your hand down. Just keep staying here for a little bit, keeping the release going. Shake that out a little. Lifting in those abs. We're gonna stretch the abs out a little bit with a nice cobra. <laughs> My hair is just gonna wanna be free forever. No. <laughs> oh well. At this point, if you want to, if you've had your hair back the whole time, you can even just take it out because we're just stretching. So, there we go. <laughs> Let it be free. Ah, there we go. Lift through those abs. Lifting the lengthening. Lifting the chin to the ceiling. Lifting through the entire body. Lifting long. You did beautiful today. Just enjoy these stretches. recognize that you've worked hard today. Now you're going to lift up just a little into a full upward facing dog. If you're familiar with yoga, that's the term for this position. Really, really pressing through the chest. Pressing through. Beautiful job. And breath you back into the downward dog. Bye.